This is a small tutorial on how to scroll text on a 16 into 2 LCD. In this episode, you will learn how to make your own custom text scrolling loop and how to use built-in text scrolling functions. In my previous tutorial, I covered the 16 into 2 LCD introduction, its features, its spinouts, soldiering and basic programming. If you want to learn in detail about the 16 into 2 LCD, then you should watch that tutorial. The link is given in the description. I'll be using the same connections. Let's get started. The components that we will be needing for this tutorial are a number one Arduino, number two 16 into 2 LCD, number three a potentiometer or variable resistor, and finally number four some connection wires or jumper wires. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the complete circuit diagram explaining how 16 into 2 LCD will be connected with the Arduino. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. As you can see, ground is connected with pin number 1. 5 and pin number 16. 5 volts from Arduino is connected with pin number 2 and pin number 15. The middle pin of the variable resistor or potentiometer is connected with pin number 3 of the LCD, while the other two pins are connected with the ground and 5 volt. Pins 4 to 7 of the Arduino are connected with pin D7 to D4 of the LCD. Pin number 8 of the Arduino is connected with the enable pin of the LCD. Pin number 9 of the Arduino is connected with the RS pin of the LCD. Now let's discuss the programming. As I said in my previous tutorial, 16 into 2 LCD programming is really easy. The difficult part has already been done. We have a library for this which consists of all the functions with the help of these functions. You can select any column, you can select any of the two rows and so on. Besides this, we also have functions for scrolling text which are scroll display right and scroll display left. But if you want, you can make your own custom text scrolling loops. So, first we start with hash include liquid crystal dot h. Hash means that this is a preprocessor directive and .h means that this is a header file. Then we define some pins. RS is connected with pin number 9 of the Arduino. EN is connected with pin number 8. D4 with pin 7. D5 with pin 6. D6 with pin 5 and D7 with pin 4. I defined these pins as for the circuit diagram which I just explained. Initialize the library with the numbers of the interface pins. As you know my friends, each and every Arduino Omega program has at least two functions which are the white setup and white loop functions. White means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Set up the LCD's number of columns and rows. LCD dot begins 16 comma 2. This instruction simply activates the LCD. This is a custom text scrolling for loop. For integer i equals 0, i is less than or equal to 3, i++. plus plus. LCD dot clear simply clears the LCD. Set cursor is a function and it takes two arguments as the input, the column number and the row number. In this case, the column will change while the row will remains the same. LCD dot print to welcome to delay 300 a delay of 300 milliseconds changing this value can increase or decrease the scrolling speed LCD dot set cursor 0 comma 1 select the second row and print electronic clinic delay 5000 then a 5 seconds delay LCD dot clear LCD dot print second then starts a while loop function LCD dot set cursor 4 comma 1 selects column 4 and row 2. LCD dot print millis divided by 1000 prints seconds. 
then these are the for loops for scrolling the text left and right. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this in action. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.